okay hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make this very easy bralette okay so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a crochet hook uh, which is 4.0 millimeters i use this kind of yarn uh it's called nickel it's 60 percent cotton and 30 percent i don't know soft something and plant extract that's it okay so let's get started okay so uh i'm making the medium size so i'm going for the medium size i did a chain 35 as you can see so if you want a larger size you can do chain 40 and if you want a smaller size you can do chain 30 so i'll link it below i'll write it on the screen okay so after you're done with your chain we're going to start with the second chain from the hook and we're going to do half double crochet all the way across until the end Okay, so we're going to do half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Okay, and you're going to repeat that until the end. So you're going to do again half double crochet, half double crochet, until the end. Okay, so we're going to continue doing our half double crochet all the way across until here at the end. So if you don't know how to do a half double crochet, all you do is uh, yarn over and then go in the next stitch and pull through. So you have three loops on your hook and then you pull through all the three loops together. Okay, and then you're going to continue that again all the way through. So you're going to yarn over, go in the next stitch. Same thing. And then pull through and pull through all the three loops together. Okay, so you're going to continue all the way through until here at the end. And then I'll show you how to do the second row. Okay, so after you get to the end, you're going to turn your work and then we're going to do a chain one. Okay, and now from the next stitch, from the second row, until we finish our project, we're going to work in the back loops only. So from here, we're going to do half double crochet in the back loops only. So you're going to go in the back loop and do half double crochet. So if you don't know the back loops, we usually have the front and the back loop. So you're going to pick, instead of picking the two, you're just going to pick this one uh, loop only. So you're going to do another half double crochet. Okay, so you're going to repeat, uh, you're going to do your half double crochet all the way across until the end. Okay, so we're going to do again half double crochet, half double crochet. Okay, so repeat that all the way through in the back loops only. Okay, so half double crochet. Okay, so continue doing half double crochet all in the back loops only until you get here at the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, with the second row, you're going to turn your work. And now from the third row until the 20th row, we're going to repeat the same stitch, uh, the same uh, pattern all around. So in this row, you're going to skip the first stitch, which is this one directly from the hook. And we're going to start in the second hook, uh, the second stitch from the hook. Okay, so we're going to do half double crochet in the second chain from the hook, second uh, stitch. Okay, and then you're going to do half double crochet in the back loop. Okay, so you're going to continue doing half double crochet all the way around until the end. Okay, so we're going to continue do half double crochet. Okay, half double crochet. Okay, so you're going to do half double crochet all the way around until here at the end. Okay, so after you're done with uh, third row, with uh, the third row, you're going to turn your work, and again you're going to skip the first stitch and start with the second stitch from the hook, and do half double crochets all the way through until the end. So you're going to do 
half double crochet, half double crochet, half double crochet. Okay, so you're going to repeat your half double crochet until here at the end. And when you're turning again to the next row, you're going to skip the first stitch and repeat that all the way through. Okay, so you're going to repeat that until you have a total of 20 rows. Okay, so you have uh, this small triangle. So from here until here for a total of 20 rows until somewhere here. Okay, and then when you're done with your 20 rows, I'll show you how to do the remaining part. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with your 20th row so that I show you how to do from the 21st row. Okay, so after you're done with row 20, this is how it looks like. So you have this small triangle over here. Okay, so now we're going to start making the front part, which is this small strap over here for tying at the front. And what we're going to do, it's a really easy pattern. You're going to turn your work. Okay, so in row 21, you're going to do a chain one. And then we are going to do half double crochet all the way around in the back loops only. Okay, so you're going to do half double crochet in starting at the very end. Okay, so make sure you start at the very end and do half double crochet all the way across. So half double crochet. So repeat all the way through until the end of that row, which is a really short row. Okay, so make sure you do in every stitch. So and also in the last stitch, so that looks nice and neat. Okay, so after that, you're going to turn your work again and do a chain one. Okay, and also start at the very end and do in the back loop half double crochet okay so you're going to repeat that all the way through so uh until row uh 31 okay so you're going to repeat this for a total of 13 rows and then uh you'll have something you'll have uh something this long okay and then i'll show you how to finish it up okay so I'll see you after you're done with your 31st row so that I show you how to do the next row. Okay, so after you're done with your row 31, so in our next four rows, we are going to start decreasing so that we come up with this end uh, like this over here. Okay, so we're going to start decreasing again. I mean skipping stitches. So you're going to skip the first stitch from the hook and then you're going to start half double crochet in the next stitch okay so you're going to do half double crochet all the way across do in the back loop only so you're going to do half double crochet all the way until the end okay so when you get to the end you're going to turn and again skip a stitch and then do half double crochet until here Okay, so you're going to repeat that two or three more times until you're done. Okay, and then when you're done, I'll show you how to do the back, uh, this one, the back part, this part. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with that. Okay, so guys, after you're done with this part, now we're going to make this the back pad or the back panel. So, and what we're going to do is you're going to go at the end of your... Of your other part of the breast uh, of the last part okay and then I'm going to attach my yarn over here at the very end okay so I'm just going to tie a little knot over here like that okay and then after I tie my knot over there I'm going to count 13 stitches from here so I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, and here in the 13th stitch, I'm going to put some kind of marker. So I'm going to attach this yarn over here so that I know where to end. So I'm just going to tie over there. Like that. 
okay so uh the 13 stitches is the height from here until here it's the length of uh, the back panel okay and then i'm going to insert my crochet hook over here and then okay i'm going to pull my yarn through like that and i'm going to do a chain one okay so after you do your chain one you're going to start uh, working all the way through until here half double crochet okay so i'm going to do half double crochet from the very end from the first chain i'm going to do half double crochet over there and then i'm going to continue doing my half double crochet in the other chains too okay so it will be a total of 13 half double crochets until you get where your marker is so you're going to continue doing half double crochet all the way through until the end Okay, so after you get here where the marker is we are going to do half double crochet in that chain over there okay and then after that i'm going to turn my work and i'm going to do a chain one and again i'm going to start at the very end so i'm going to go at the very end of the row and then do my half double crochet and then I'm going to continue like that to another half double crochet again half double crochet okay so you're going to continue doing that all the way around and then again when you get here you're going to do a chain one and repeat the same thing until you have a total of uh, 24 rows so this part is supposed to fit your back so make sure that this half part fit the half of your back and also this other part the one that you're going to finish here is same as this and it fits the other half so that it can go across your back okay so i'll see you when you're done with that and then um i'll show you how to do the edging over here and the top part to tie the top tying part over here okay so after you're done with the back panel this is how it looks like so as you can see it's the same as this other side okay so now we're going to do the neck part so which is this and uh you're going to go to the on the upper part of the of the bralette one side of the bralette and then you're going to do a chain 54 so i already did that so you're going to do 54 all the way up okay so we're going to make uh this one which is uh the strength the string to tie around the neck okay so after you do your chain 54 we're going to start working single crochet all the way down so you're going to start with the second chain from the hook and you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way down so you're going to do single crochet then do again single crochet Okay, so you're going to continue all the way down doing single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so you're going to continue doing that all the way down until here so you have something that looks like this like that okay and then when you get here to the end you're going to slip stitch on one of the stitches over here you're going to just slip stitch and then cut off your yarn and then after you're done with that i'm going to show you how to do the edging the edges here at the top part okay so after you're done with the strap uh this is how it looks like so on the other end which is the upper uh we're going to continue to with the white yarn and we're going to do the edging uh, which is this so I use the white yarn to do the edges so what we're gonna do is um, we're going to do a chain three so after you touch the white yarn you're going to do chain three so you're going to do one two three 
and then you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch okay so you're going to go to the next stitch and do a slip stitch okay and then we're going to repeat that again so you're going to do a chain three again so one two three and slip stitch in the next stitch so you're going to go in the next stitch and slip stitch so you're going to continue doing that so you're going to do one two three go again in the next stitch and slip stitch again okay you're going to continue like that two three and then go here in the other stitch slip stitch okay so you're going to continue that all the way around so chain three slip stitch all the way through until you get here so you're not going to do all the way through so you're going to do until here uh we don't do on the i didn't do on the tying part so i just do it until here okay so and then when you're done after that i'll show you how to join the two these two together at the back so you're done with the edges now we're going to do to attach the back side together and i'm going to use this kind of needle it's uh the the yarn needle it's a little bit bigger so what i'm gonna do is i'll attach the two parts the back side together in the inside part so that when i turn it it can have like a better pattern as you can see the pattern can continue all the way through so i'm just going to turn it like that on the inside and i'm going to use my needle to join these two parts together the stitches together so i'm going to go here i'm going to make sure they are even all the two and then i'm going to go here and do some stitch and i'm going to continue like that all the way around okay i'm going to go in the next stitch too do a little bit of the stitch and continue like that all the way around so you're going to stitch it all the way through so if you want you can do slip stitches but i think uh, using a needle is much neater so it looks more neat when you use the needle instead of the instead of slip stitching all the way through okay so you're going to continue like that all the way around and make sure they all match as you can see they match together like that so you can see it's forming a same pattern a rib pattern just like our top so you're going to continue all the way through until here at the end okay so as you can see it looks much better and you can tell uh, whether I did a needlework over here so it looks like it's a continuous pattern all the way around Okay, so after that I'm just going to weave uh, another round of stitches the same way that I did until here at the end and then after that uh, this is how my top looks like okay so you can turn I'm going to cut all these yarns when I'm done okay so you can tie this the front part in a bow or in any way that you want as you can see Okay, so that's how a top is gonna look like so after you're done do the finishing with the ends and that's it the edging at the bottom I did uh, three rows of single crochet so you just uh, tie your yarn over here okay so you're just going to turn your yarn at, uh, to tie your yarn at the end and then do three rows of single crochet uh, just it's easy okay and then um that's it so i hope you enjoyed this pattern and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and also you can watch my other videos i have an uh, i have a mesh crop top that i made and also i have a summer a summer top also that i made so you can check uh you can check those, those ones out i'll link them in the description below and please subscribe to my channel and until next time bye